So let's discuss insertion sort, which is one of the first sorting algorithms that we'll sort of talk through visually, um, give a sense of how this works by looking at a picture. So here's my unsorted array. It's got eight items in it. And what insertion sort is going to do is conceptually we divide the array into two parts. Um, an unsorted part, which is going to get one item bigger as the algorithm continues, and uh, an unsorted part. Sorry, a sorted part that gets one item bigger. Did I say that? And an unsorted part that gets one item smaller. So we start off with all the items in the unsorted part. And then when we're done, the sorted part will have all the items in it and the array will be sorted. And so in each step, what we want to do is we want to move something from the unsorted portion of the array into the sorted portion of the array. Um, and so here's how this might look for this particular array. So I can also start off with my sorted part of size one because an array of size one is always sorted. Um, so now you'll see what's happening is in each step, I'm increasing the size of the sorted part of the array by one. And specifically, we'll talk about how I'm doing this, but uh, I'm moving the item from the leftmost portion of the unsorted part, which is red, into the right spot in the sorted part, which is blue. And if I repeat this step n times, you'll see that I go from everything being in that unsorted portion of the array to now shifting everything to being in the sorted portion of the array. So um, let's walk through a specific example of, of this. Um, so what we're going to do to accomplish this is in every step, we take the first item from the unsorted part of the array. You can really take any item. It doesn't matter. But we're going to take the leftmost item. You could take the last item, right? It doesn't, it's not really that important. Um, and I'm going to put it into the sorted array. Well, actually, the fact that we're using the leftmost is kind of important because we're going to do this via swaps. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leftmost part of the unsorted array and I'm going to uh, insert it into the sorted portion of the array at the right position. Um, and so let's walk through. And, and so what I'm showing you here is uh, the item that's being inserted in yellow and then where it ends up in the, in the array in green. So here I take seven, which is the first item in the unsorted part of the array. And I insert it into the sorted part of there. And you see in this case, it ends up between two values that were already there. Some values like three will go all the way to the beginning of the sorted portion of the array. Uh, four is going to head to the beginning. Other items like 11 will actually stay put because they're, it's already in the right spot. It's at the end. Um, and so if I repeat this process, what happens is that by the end, everything is in the sorted part of the array. Okay, so let's zoom in and look at one step because this is what's happening. But when we actually get down to brass tacks and start to have to write some code, uh, what we're going to need to do is think about one specific step. So at this point, my sorted array has size six, my unsorted array has size two, and I'm inserting six. So I'm taking six from the unsorted part of the array, and I'm going to insert it into the sorted part of the array. And I do this via swaps. So in each case, I compare six with the item next to it. And if six is smaller, it keeps going. So what I did here is I compared six and 11. Six is smaller, so I swapped the two. Um, now I compare six and eight. Six is smaller, so I swap the two. Now I compare six and seven. Six is smaller, so I swap the two. Now I compare six and five. Six is larger, and I also stop when it's equal, and so I found the right spot. So again, let's walk through that again in, in slow motion. Um, so I start with six, and I compare it with the item next to it. If it's smaller, I swap them. Smaller than eight, swap. Smaller than seven, swap. Smaller than five, not smaller than five. Then I stop. So I take the leftmost portion of the uh, leftmost item from the array, and I I swap it, leftmost item from the unsorted part of the array, and I swap it left into the sorted part of the array until I find the right place. Um, and what's happening, you know, I've noticed is that the items that are bigger than the item that I'm inserting end up being pushed to the right. So I'm kind of making space for it in the sorted part of the array in the appropriate spot. Okay, so I think at this point, uh, you know, guided by this diagram, we can, uh, we can try writing some code.